my issue is um, I have recently been terminated from my place of work. Um, I worked for an employability company where the role was to uh, you're helping people get into work. So you have targets of how many people you need to get into work based uh, uh, on your caseload that you're given. Now, prior to me joining the company, I had told them that I had um, four weeks booked off uh, um, the beginning or the end of November, beginning of December for a wedding in New Zealand. And that was all fine. Um, I was then told, I, towards the run-up, um, towards the run-up towards the holiday, the Matangwe, I was told, you know, what are we going to do about your caseload? You need to have people in the office look after your caseload. I was like, okay, that's fine. And roughly um, mid-October, um, I had 30 people from my caseload taken away from me because I was told I had too many. I had 104 participants. Uh, I questioned why, my, why am I you know, being reduced by 30 participants because essentially it's going to affect my target numbers. Um, I was just told, oh, you have too many. I queried this is some of my other colleagues who had roughly the same amount of um, participants as I did. They were not treated the same way, so they did not have any participants taken away from them. But I okay. just thought, okay, Mark, Mark I'm, I'm sorry. I know you're a first-time caller and I, I really don't want to rush you too much but i do need you to get to the point if you would okay okay so essentially um i had my participant my caseload taken away from me meaning that um i couldn't reach my uh my um target for my um past my probation it just trans it transpired that whilst i was away the participants i worked for worked with for eight or five months they all kind of got jobs but i was told those numbers wouldn't be counted towards me because they were given away but then i found out someone else had um, had a freebie holiday prior to me but they didn't lose their participants. So I'm just thinking I got uh, unfair treatment and I need to know what I can do in regards to this because my my probation was essentially sabotaged. Uh, in, uh, okay. As I went to Mark, I, I'm assuming, I mean, it's, it's screamingly obvious, but I do need to ask you the question that you've worked for less than two years. Yeah. And when did, when, when did your probation come to an end? Um, so it came to an end in December, but as the month I was away, so it was extended for three months. And it came to end on the 28th, of, or sorry, 29th of March. Okay. And you're now unemployed, I assume? Yeah. So they, they put me in the same position that, the, that our participants are in, essentially. Yeah. Do you think the reason they treated you this way was because of your uh, race or your sex or sexual orientation or uh, because you've blown the whistle? There are a few special protected reasons in law. I think it may be due to race. Uh, colleagues who I've spoken to about this, they said this, they might be because you're black. Are you the only black person uh, in that position? Who's, who's... Um, no, there's, a, there's a few black people in the position. However, one another person was kind of forced out by the same team leader and uh, the same thing's happening to someone else that I know of at work right now. OK, so you can't claim unfair dismissal because you have to have worked for two years to claim unfair dismissal. The only sorts of claims you have available to you are discrimination and, in your case, race discrimination. I'm not going to tell you whether you'll win or lose this, Mark, because I don't know, but I will tell you what you'll need to prove. What you'll need to prove is that the uh, company uh, treats people of colour less well when it comes to targets and probationary periods than white people. And you will need to show that uh, there have been white people in the same situation as you, i.e. taking holidays, uh, long holidays, and not having clients removed, mm -hmm. whereas you took a long holiday and have had a client removed, and that they've been treated differently from you. And then legally, it becomes your employer's job to prove that that was nothing to do with your race. And if they okay. can prove it was nothing to do with your race, they'll win a race claim. If they can't prove that, they'll lose a race discrimination claim and you'll get potentially quite decent compensation. But the first okay. step, Mark, is for you to prove that there is a white person or at least somebody of a different... It's, yes, it's Asian. So it's an Asian person, Asian colleague, Asian team leader, and the Asian person... Okay. Someone, of a different, someone of a different race. That, that's the point. Yeah. I, I said yeah, white, yeah. but someone of a different race. Okay, grand. Okay, all right, Mark. Good luck with that.